So I'm an old school nerd. Uh, uh, back in the day, I was that uh, kid who was participating in uh, social media before we called it social media. Back then, it was just online communities or Usenet or BBSs or things like that. And uh, when I was younger, I really, I really saw kind of how effective that communication platform could be. Uh, so I started studying these things actually about 15 years ago uh, when I was an undergraduate. And uh, just kind of kept up and it, I feel like the world moved with me more than anything else. I think I was actually shocked in the mid 2000s when they were so widely adopted because before that they'd been kind of a niche um, uh, communication channel but once the internet and the web especially and the web 2.0 platforms took off lots and lots of people came over to social media and it's been very exciting for the past few years. I would describe my research as taking two directions one direction is I study kind of existing social network services and social media and look at what are the effects of how people use uh, those types of tools. And then in another line of work, I, I also create those tools and we try to get people to adopt them and see what happens when they adopt them and what are all the inherent barriers and challenges when people adopt social media tools. So since spring of 2006, we've been asking MSU undergraduates about their Facebook use uh, through a series of large-scale surveys, and we're actually just finishing up a very large-scale survey of MSU staff people and seeing how they use Facebook. Uh, we've done work with IBM and how they use social networking services, including Facebook, uh, and their own internally home-brewed systems. So there what we're looking for is basically what are the effects of participation on Facebook, um, and we use a framework called social capital. And social capital is basically the benefits you get from having friends in a social network. And some benefits we associate with close friendship, like a ride to an airport or borrowing a hundred bucks or somebody to, you know, watch your house while you're away, things like that. Other uh, benefits you get from your social networks are a little more tans tangential and only come from distant friends. So, for instance, if you're going to travel to San Francisco and want to know a good place to eat, you might ask somebody you know in San Francisco who you're not very close with, but who would have that information that you don't have. Um, and it turns out there's a lot of benefits that we get from both close friends and distant friends, and Facebook basically acts as a way for us to tap into those networks pretty quickly and easily. There was a point when I think social media looked like a fad and people were going to, it was still up in the air, would this really take off and, and was there any value to this? And I think now we're at a point where we can, where it's as kind of core to our daily lives as telephone use or other types of media that we use. So I think the social media are here to stay for a while.